Welcome to Highline BI348 class video number 21. Hey, if you want to download this file, BI348 Chapter 2 Start or the Finished File, click on the link below the video. Hey, we want to talk about mean, median, and mode. We have definitely looked at mean, median, mode in our prereq classes, but it's worth noting what mean, median, and mode are. They are averages. They are a way to go from lots of data points into a single number that will represent a typical value. It is also a measure of central tendency. So mean, that simply means to add them up and divide by the count. And we'll use the average function. Now, I'm going to do two examples. Housing prices, control shift down arrow, control backspace. Tab, tab. So we have a mean, that's our typical value, the measure of central tendency, $392,000. So if these housing prices are from a particular neighborhood, the realtor could say, hey, the average price in this neighborhood is $392,000. Now here's some accounting salaries from a particular firm equals average, and we'll calculate the mean. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, and Enter. So it looks like the average salary at this firm is $161,000. Now, as we mentioned in last video with SKU, if there are some extreme low or high values, then the mean will either be pushed down if there's some really small values or pulled up if there's some really big values. The median is the preferred average calculation when there are some extreme values. Now, in our prerequisite class, we learned how to calculate median. You actually have to sort the data set and find positionally the one in the middle. But no problem. The median function will do that for us. So click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, and Enter. 195,000. That means if we sorted this list and found the one in the middle, that's the median. It is another way to get a typical value or a measure of central tendency. Now look at this. We already know that mean is much bigger than the median. That means there has to be some really big values in this data set that are pulling the mean up. Over here, we can calculate median for our accounting firm salary data. Control Backspace and Enter. 109,000. Same thing here. There's got to be some big values in this data set that are pulling the mean up. And sure enough, if we look at an accounting firm like this, there are probably some partners that are making a lot of money, and then some other people that are not making as much money. So mean and median, each has their place. Median is good when there are extreme values. The mode. This function will be similar to what we did last video with histograms. It'll count. Remember, the tallest column had the biggest frequency. Well, the mode will look through all of the numbers and find the one number that is repeated the most times or the number that occurs most frequently. Now, mode is an old function, that little yellow triangle means compatibility mode. We want to use the equivalent mode.single here. Now mode.single cannot deal with multiple modes, but for this data set we'll try this. If there are multiple modes, mode.single will only report the first one it bumps into. Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace and Enter. NA just means it's not available. There are no duplicates in this data set. Equals mode.single. And I go and look at this data set. Similarly, there are no repeats. There's no duplicates. No one value occurred more than one time. If I were to force the issue just to show you, then of course now it will report that value because it found that it's listed twice and every other value is listed once. Control Z. Now I want to show you for mode, mean, median, and mode, if your distribution is perfectly symmetrical in its histogram or in its distribution, then the mean, median, mode will all be the same value. Now I want to actually go back to our data set. And I'm going to start a pivot table and then put it onto our MMM sheet. I'm going to go back to our sales data. I want to click in a cell. And I would like to count product, because guess what? This is not a number. This is a categorical variable. And we cannot calculate the mean or the median, because 
those calculations require numbers or quantitative data. So for categorical data, we use the mode. Which one occurs most frequently? Now, we can't use the mode function because the mode function looks at numbers. And I don't particularly want to extract a unique list and use count ifs. We could do that. A pivot table is much easier. I'm just going to do a pivot table. So you ready? Alt and V. And I actually want to tell this pivot table to go onto an existing sheet location. Well, there's our MMM. So I'm going to click on that sheet and try and put it right here and click OK. So we have our field list. I'm going to drag product down to rows. Instantly, we get a unique list. Product down to values, and instantly we have a count. I'm going to close this, go up to Design, Report Layout, Show in Tabular. Now, I, I don't want to eye this. I want to actually bring the one that occurs most frequently up to the top. So here's a great sorting trick for pivot tables. I come over here. And if I sort A to Z, it'll sort the actual product names. But I want more sort options. And I'm going to click. Here's our dialog box. I want descending. I want the biggest one on top. Product would just do the actual field names in the row area. I want to say count of product. Click OK. And so the one that occurs most frequently, fun fly, then quad. So for categorical data, mode is the measure that we use for central tendency. Now I want to scroll down one more example here, mode.mult. Now here we can clearly see we have some duplicates, right? There's a bunch of sixes, and looks like there's a bunch of fives. So let's try this equals mode, and I'm going to do mult. Now the thing is, remember, it's supposed to be looking for multiple modes. And if it is returning multiple values, there's no way it can display it in a single cell. When I hit Enter, I might think there's only one. But really, there's multiple modes in this data set. So one way to tell before you enter it is to highlight and hit the F9 key to evaluate it. Once you see that there are two values, that means 6 and 5 are simultaneously the mode. That's called bimodal. Once you know that there's two, I'm simply going to click Escape, Delete. And because it's returning multiple values, we need to enter them simultaneously into multiple cells, in this case, two cells. Now I know it's two, so I highlight two cells, mode.mult, highlight. Close parentheses, and just like the frequency function, which returns an array of values, and we enter simultaneously into multiple cells, we have to use the special keystroke for this array function, Control-Shift-Enter. Now, Control-Shift-Enter is us telling Excel to enter it as an array function. But notice up in the formula bar, those curly brackets are Excel telling you it understood that it is an array function. Now, another cheap and easy way if you don't want to have to F9 and figure out exactly how many cells, it's just highlight a bunch of cells equals mode. And then highlight the data, close parentheses, and Control Shift Enter to enter it into a bunch of cells. And immediately we see that there are two. The NAs just means, oh, there's no third or fourth or fifth. All right, in this video, we talked about mean, median, and mode. We looked at the mode.mult array function. We also talked about mean, which is a great universally used typical value average calculation. The median, you use it when there are extreme values. And when you have categorical data, the mode calculation to figure out the one that occurs most frequently is the one we should use. All right, next video, we'll talk about the geometric mean. All right, we'll see you next video.